What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin with Jersey Shore Drainage Solutions and today I'm going to show you again how to fix a flooded yard with some catch basins. So as you can see he's got his patio back here. All the water piles up here, builds up, goes all into his patio. It's trapped. It has nowhere to go. So let's get right to it. That's where it puddles. That blue tub there, there's a pump underneath it. And I turned the pump on remotely. All right, as you can see right here, we're gonna put the first catch basin. Right here we had this pile of rock, which you also had a makeshift sump pump going on here so that when the water filled up and went all over all his patio, he at least was able to shoot it out here. So I am going to put one catch basin there, another one over here, and we are going to run all this out this way over to around here to another catch basin so the water can overflow into that one up front build up come out here facilitate up and drain out to the street and not in his backyard as you can see there's tons of trees there was even more trees down this whole thing so this is going to be a fun one let's get started and here we go and always remember when you're installing catch basins to make sure you drill the holes in them because if you don't then the water is going to sit in them and become a mosquito breeding site nobody wants that at all also remember before you install this after you drill your holes you have to put filter cloth down then put some rock in then put it in hook it all up and then backfill more around it with rock so that way all the water can drain freely into it and go out at the end where you desire and here we go this is how it looks in the end water's just going to rush off go into the rock feed into the catch basins as you can see we are down to the level here same over here down to the level then we go slightly more down to the level on this side going all the way down here where this is all the same down to the level and then from here and then from this section here in front of the AC to the mini drywall at the end it's completely or halfway downhill to the level I should say but it's enough that it's going to force all the water to come down here build up and overflow to build up down here and go out to the street in this area then to build back up on his patio. Now to backfill and show you how it works. And here we go. Press the system, you put it in the furthest one. You see it's already coming through over here to this one. They're all both little tiny mini drywalls. So as it's building up, it's also trying to soak into the ground. And you see here, it builds up, starts to go into the next pipe. So it keeps going down the whole system and he had rock here before so i'm leaving this exposed to also help when the water just is rushing from the whole house it'll go in here go into the rocks be able to facilitate into the catch basins and go out but as you can see as soon as the water builds up at all on the lip it immediately starts going down now it's gonna have to travel 80 feet all the way down here to the final dry well so all the water from over there is now going to get transferred and moved all the way down here. So now we just have to wait a second because it's a long run and then we're going to see the water. And here we go. The water is making it over here to the final mini dry well where it's all going to build up in here and then overflow out into the front yard going towards the street and here's finally the water's made it as you can see now as it's filling up it has to fill up the entire little mini dry well before it'll actually build up enough to overflow so now we just got to wait until it overflows and here we go builds up runs out comes all the way down let's to the ground and onto the street down to the nearest storm drain that's exactly how you prevent your patio from flooding with catch basins and a french drain 
As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and until the next one. There we am. We have about two nights of rain. This would be about an inch or inch and a half of water with the amount of rain we've had. And I would have had a pump over there that would pump it out. Now I have these nice drains that go all the way down, underground, and down that yard and out to the street. Good job, Dustin.